Alright, another new week has started. It is the final official week of February. February 20th, 2023. Tyler Hayes here. 11.30 coming to you from West Lady Smith with a video lined up for you. We're going to have the departing L519 get ready to come westbound on the Baron Submain. After getting a late start today, must have had a lot of work to do at Lady Smith Yard. Meanwhile, the 519 clears the South Lady Smith Y. We are going to have a northbound on the way that is behind it on the Superior Submain, holding its position at mile 350.1 and Jeevo leads on that and my apologies there friends, my nose is kind of running because I had to quickly do chores outside and all that before I can get this far So we're going to have the SD60 duo of the 5429 and 5442 do the honors yet again to begin the week for those two. Not sure if there's going to be more power in tow or not to be on a sand load later on or not, but I am not sure. But I do know that yesterday we had the S773 from Poskin show up and it's already been... Not quite shy of 18 hours yet, or maybe, since it was last there. Had the uh, 2846 to lead it with the rear DPU of the 2260, as they ran in a 1x1 one -one configuration. As their TGBO was 5609-5609. And release track authority 1427 1427 issued to CN 2846. All switch is normal as of 1851 yesterday evening. So, with that. Let's have a look at the departing L51981 of the 20th with the 5429 to lead it for the westbound move. The 5442 isolated in the second slot. Let's check him out as we lean back and get him. Here we go. Okay, a few minutes later, snow decides to move in and the visibility is down to around a mile and a quarter. And we have an Alberta Clipper on the way that's about to enter into Northwest North Dakota and, well, Northwest Minnesota and Northeast North Dakota. I'm going to be responsible for this wave as we will have a significant storm get ready to show up for the middle of the week as the main storm itself that is currently in development stages is over the plains at this time. And a new storm getting underway for the next wave for Wednesday going into Thursday it is currently developing in southern Utah. 519 still making the moves yet before she comes westbound. I'll take another break from here before making the arrival. 
actually take that back. 519 is here now as it slowly takes its time to make the westbound move and continue accelerating away. Dogs are going to get stirred up here. No additional power behind it, so here's 519.81 on the 20th as we lean back. This has those di distinctive P5s. Some sand empties so far. Five liquid propane tank loads. propane tank car coming up as well with more empties than I thought. So that's a sixth load already. Goodness me. Didn't expect this to be this odd, but I have to admit that's going to be quite the build that they just did at Lady Smith Yard. Actually, more of them coming. Goodness me. Must be running conventional style for the westbound move. So that'll bring it up to nine loads now for, for the propane tank count. Last of 519 should be clear of West Lady Smith to allow that northbound that was waiting at mile 350.1 to. Be ready to start up shortly, if it has done so. Tree of new WFRX 37 footers. And there is the last of the 519 for now, is it? It's its deliveries taken care of. Last of it is ITLX441 655. And as I said, off it goes to make deliveries on the Baron Sub Main. And that will do it for this video at West Lady Smith. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time, and I will see you down the main line. Tyler Hayes out.